All right, the first question I have is, do you have any hidden talents? I don't know if you call it a hidden talent, but uh, I'm really good at basketball. Uh, I love playing. I've been playing for about five years now. I'm a little too cocky when it comes to uh, saying who I'd beat in a 1v1 or, you know, I, I like to trash talk when it comes to basketball, but I guess that's my hidden talent. Uh, the second question, if you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I I'm not sure. I, I probably would go to like Italy or Mexico. Um, when it comes to what I want to do, uh, I might find like a beach or just some, I'd probably Google what would be fun to do there or just walk around and find out what's cool to do. If you could meet any three people that are alive, who would you want to meet? One, I would for sure want to meet Adam Sandler. He's like my favorite person of all time. Uh, two, probably Chris Pratt, just cause he seems like a really like down to earth guy. And three, I'd probably want to meet Michael Jordan, just cause he's uh, you know, he's one of my favorite NBA players and I'd like to see how he is in real life and you know, kind of what, what he had to go through to become one of the greatest. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? Definitely sushi. I love sushi so much. We always go and get sushi for like New Year's dinners or just to celebrate or something, but they have so many different things on the menu and so many different flavors and I just love it. I mean, I could eat it forever. If you were stranded on an island and could only take three objects, what would they be? Um, you know, I'm not a survival expert or anything, but probably a lighter would be number one to kind of easily start fires. Maybe a raft in case I have to like go somewhere else or you know, that island's kind of just dead. <laughs> or, and the last thing probably a machete just to make everything easier, chopping down things. Next question, what are your favorite movies of all time? I have two. Uh, one is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. It's just, you know, I feel like it's a classic movie. Harrison Ford, I love him. And I, I would really, you know, just, I could talk about it forever. It's such a great movie. And then the second one is Whiplash. Uh, it came out not that long ago, but I think the writing for it and like the cinematography is just perfect. What is one of your most embarrassing moments? I'm actually going to answer the next question before I answer this one. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? I used to work at Chick-fil-A for about a year and a half. It was supposed to be just a summer job. Uh, and this was in the middle of, you know, my acting career. It's just my off time. But I, I worked at Chick-fil-A and it was, it was really fun. But my most embarrassing moment is working there and I like filled up a cup of root beer. It was like my second week on the job, so I'm still very new. And somebody accidentally knocked the root beer over and it got all on the floor. And she was like, she was apologizing. I'm like, oh, it's okay, whatever. I filled up another one and I walked back over to where like the spilling was and my shoes weren't very non-slip and I slipped right on the root beer and spilled the other one on me. And it, it was a terrible day. I was, it was so embarrassing. Uh, what would be the one superpower you would choose to have? You know, I always think about this. It always comes down to two, either being able to fly, just because I feel like if I had a bad day or just want to go somewhere peaceful, just flying up in the air and chilling in the clouds would be really fun. Or I would choose the ability to teleport because that would just make everything easier. If I want to get here to like, you know, a vacation like Italy, I could just blink and I'm there. If I want to do, and I mean, think about it. If you want to get into any like event, you don't even have to pay for it. You just pop up in the middle. Nobody even knows you're there. Uh, what's your goal for where you want to be three years from today? I, I think I want to be in a movie or something. I'm not entirely sure what, you know, I'm pretty open to anything. Horror movies I'm into, drama, action, whatever. Um, I would just like to see me in, in something like that. I think it'd be really cool. <laughs> uh, what is my favorite holiday? I mean, Christmas. I think Christmas is pretty pretty solid choice. I feel like that's almost everybody's choice besides Halloween. I guess it's just more of an opinion. And then last question, who are your role models? Uh, I love Adam Sandler. You know, he's, he's probably one of my role models because he's a super humble guy. He's insanely famous and he still wears his baggy shorts and his nice, awesome clothes that I like to wear. 
Uh, and my second role model, I would probably choose Brian Cranston. Uh, I love all the stuff he does. I love Breaking Bad. It's my favorite show. And he just seems like a super funny guy. I see all his interviews and he always makes me laugh. So yeah, those are my questions. Um, I hope that gets you to know a little bit more about me. And I really appreciate it. Thank you.